back to the reason why they don't like to talk about things like this is that, you know, we say church is business for a lot of these people. And you know, for them, this kind of story is not good for their business. You understand? It's not good for their brand. That's another word, brand. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer. So um, in this video, I want to talk about the uh, deafening silence of uh, Dunamis Church, the, uh, Dunamis Shrine over the the exit of uh, uh, Osinachi. Like I said, it's, it's deafening. It's interesting how a woman that is reportedly a lead singer in the in, in his church um, is interesting that such a woman would lose her life and not even just that she has exited this world but the circumstances surrounding her exit yet a so-called church said absolutely nothing about it yesterday was sunday and uh, people that have the time to go and click and even watch what he had to you know preach they noticed that on the live stream that they saw the whole live stream of his church church service that he didn't even mention her once. There was no mention of her. They carried on like nothing happened. And she's the lead singer. You know, <laughs> before those of you that want to defend her, so a lot of you know I'm not a fan of Polenetje because, and, like, I can't pretend about it. I have no regard for that man. I'm sorry. Like, it, there's no point in me coming here to lie. Even if I lie, lie God knows my heart. I have. This man that launched his shrine called Dunamis and he launched it with curses of high blood pressure, heart attack or whatever on people. So, like, you know, like, at the same time, this is the same man that calls somebody a mad dog. What kind of regard will he have with such a person that has no control of his own mouth? What God is he talking about? I've made videos, I've made videos in which I have said, ask yourself, Look at the life of Christ and look at the life of people that say they are, they are Christians, Christian pastors. And look at them and see, today, is there, is there any similarity between their lives and the life of Christ? And when you don't see it, the Bible tells us that by their fruit we shall, we shall know them. So, there's no story about that one. You know, it's somebody that don't even, mm -mm, right? But to think that this story as big as it is, they didn't even talk about it. The show goes on. This is for their members. Because let me tell you, whether you like it or not, if Paul Eneche, if it was his wife that died, you think church service will go on as, as if nothing happened? You think so? You think if it was any of his, uh, any of his children, that church service will go on as if nothing happened? Of course not. What does that tell you? What does that tell you, people? She was the lead singer. And now she's gone. And I can bet you somebody else took over like nobody left. It is left for people to sit back and be processing all of these things. Do you know what they wrote? <laughs> Do you even really know what they, they, they... Let me read to you guys, actually. A, a, a part of, a, what's it called? Punch, punch News. Let me read it to you guys, right? Guys, listen to this. And then you will know the kind of human beings you are dealing with in a place like Dunamis. In the person of Paul Eneche. This will give you a good picture of who this man is. Listen to this. Let me find it. I know I have it somewhere. Now, in Punch newspaper, it says, listen to this. It says, the Dunamis Church lawyer, lawyer, okay? The Dunamis Church lawyer, Felix, uh, sorry if I don't say his name right, Tao Kase, I don't know if I said the name right, and said, said the church's general overseer, Paul NH, just returned from a crusade in Cameroon, right? And had not, listen, and had not been briefed on the matter. So maybe Polenich, Polenich I never hear. He has not heard. People in Cameroon know this story right now. But Polenich, he's living in space. He has not heard it. No, he has not heard it. So he's, he, they have not briefed him. No matter what, as a human being, a church member that's not just lead singer in your church lost their life and they're saying he has not been briefed the same man that will come on social media and drag people that talk about him wishing them heart attack without being briefed 
this one is he has not been briefed this man this man poleneche right he went to go and do crusade there these are the people that will be going to go and do healing they said they are doing healing and crusade they prophesy they see they see i bet you that upon all the visions they see and all their prophecy they didn't see that the church that the lead singer in their church in their church was about to lose her life they could not see vision for her that ah this your husband is about to delete you i bet you they didn't they didn't see it right now i coming back to the area of why would they not even talk about it on a whole Sunday service, she was not mentioned once. The whole nation has been talking about it. People have been moved to tears. You know, people have, people that didn't even know her song know her songs now. People that didn't know her know her now. And the church where she is the lead singer, I don't even know if they pay them salary because I don't want to say what I'm not sure about. I know when I used to be in the choir, they don't they pay us shish. They don't pay us nothing. We are not doing, we are doing it for God. It's only the pastor that is not, his own is not, you know, it's only pastors that I can, that can benefit from whatever he is doing. All the everything, Titan offering everything financially. Oh, pastors are uh, pastor is the only one that can get everything financially. We are just doing it for sacrifice for God. But pastors can live this life that is up there. Life that is mighty up there. Other people that are doing the same is it not they call it ministration through song. You come and preach by by saying the word. These people are ministering through song. I'm going to keep saying it. I don't know about Dunamis Church, but in most churches, as far as I know, they don't pay them. So any of you that knows they pay them, you can leave it in the comment section. So, but even if she's an employee, you will hear that your em employee lost their life. And you cannot take even a second to say, acknowledge that there's an exit. That there's an exit that the whole nation is talking about. When I wait, no one gets sense. When I wait, no one gets sense. No one will get sense one day by force. If things like this don't open your eyes, I wonder what will. Look at this. What does it take to for a second and say, just for even a second, to even talk about it for a second in church. But you know, coming back to the reason why they don't like to talk about things like this is that, you know, we say church is business for a lot of these people. And you know, for them, this kind of story is no good for their business. You understand? You know the way you are. You want your business to be seen. You want your business to be seen in the eyes of the world. This particular story is no good for business. You think if it was one miraculous story or whatever that he will not talk about it, they will use it to boost their whatever. But because it is a negative story, hey, shh, it's not good for their brand. That's another word, brand. He will come out now and be claiming he went to so and so. He went to Cameroon to go and do miracle. He went to go and do this one. He went to go and do that one. That's the kind of thing they want you to hear. News like this is not good for their brand. And that is why they will not talk about it. This is for those people that use their own two legs and be entering this kind of gathering. You guys are the, uh, you are the commodity. How would I even put it? You are the, you are the, how do I even explain it? You are like the, you are the commodity. So, it's like, how do I even say it? You know what I mean? A lot of you are dis so dispensable. Like I said, if that was Paul NHS wife that lost her life, though there's no way the church would have gone on that, gone on, on that day as if nothing happened. What about the little children, four children that have lost their mother? What about that? But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because they don't matter. Because they don't matter. He went to Cameroon to go and do whatever he said, miracle or whatever. And I, I bet you he did not see a vision that four young children in his church are about to lose their mother. I bet you that. I want you to quickly come here and share this. Every day we will talk more, more. Hopefully one day. Because more, people, more people's eyes are opening. More people's eyes are opening. And the way things are going, more and more eyes will keep opening. This Nigerian brand of Christianity, this Nigerian brand, I'm going to say this, not all churches. So always get me right when it comes to that. Not all churches. But all this kind of brand of Christianity, I'm telling you guys, because it's not the biblical brand, I don't know what future they would meet. Because more eyes are opening. People are beginning to ask questions. I'll be like, okay, this behavior, they, what do the Bible say? Before somebody come and even tell me, so, do you know what the Bible says? The Bible says you should mourn with those that mourn. You should mourn with those that mourn. This complete, not even talking about it. Let it speak to you. 
and it will open your eyes. Like I told you guys, this story, this story was not quickly discussed. You know why? Because it's not good for their brand. You know, his people may come here and have their own opinion, whatever. Everybody's free to have their opinion. But you will not tell me anything about Paul Energy. You will not tell me. Say Paul Energy that four people, people went into his church wearing Buari Go t-shirt. And they got, they allegedly got beaten up and arrested and locked up. Among them was a blind young man. Among these people that were beaten up and locked up. And then the Polene denied and said he, he didn't know anything about it. I made a video about it. He denied he didn't know anything about it. But when those boys came out, they confirmed. If I'm not mistaken, their report came out. And they said that Polene was aware of it. But Polene came and, and, and denied. The blind boy that was among them. You would have thought as a so-called miracle worker he calls himself. That he could have used the opportunity to open the boy's eyes. No. He allegedly got this boy locked up. I have looked at people like Paul Eneche. I know their type. And I can tell you that the God they are talking about, you see, the God that Jesus came to tell us about does not know people like Paul Eneche. It's not me saying it. It's what the Bible says. About your fruit, you shall know them. These are the kind of people that will pray for their, this for that, that one for that. In their own, eh, their own, their own God, not the God of Jesus that we know in the Bible, that came, that no one should perish. But for everybody to have eternal life, that God of Jesus that came to save is not the same as their own God. Because their own God is die, die, die. Their own God is wishing you evil, wishing you this and wishing you that. At the same time, their own God is not a God of repentance. Because, you see, their own God is to come and kill everybody. Kill, 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 kill. While the one of, the one, the God of Jesus is the one that came to save even the worst sinner. When Paul and pray for somebody to have an attack or whatever he prays for, just be, just know, just know that it's not the same God that Jesus talks about. It's not the same God that came to save your soul. It's not the same God. Yeah, oh, for the nature of God, no, they forgive you. You know, they forgive. If you've done anything wrong, you must have heart attack, a high blood pressure. You are a mad dog, you are this, you are that. Their own God is big, kicky, kicky. No forgiveness for their own God. But the God of Jesus is the God that came. That no one will be lost. That all souls will be saved. Because the Bible says that even while we're yet sinner, he sent his son to come and die for us. Look at the two gods and decide if Paul Eneche's God is the real God that Jesus came to tell you about. I think I've said enough in this video. As always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.